Welcome back to that dad guy. It's February 13th, 2023. Um, I'm home, so you're getting videos. Uh, I can't sit too long in one spot. That's kind of the update for me right now. Uh, it's been a week since my fall. Uh, still using uh, Voltaren for uh, muscle pain. Uh, doing my exercises that physiotherapy gave me. And uh, taking Tylenol when the uh, pain is uh, a bit too much. So uh, last night didn't sleep 100%, toss and turn, trying to find the right uh, way, so woke up stiff. Luckily I have a, a good bath that I can put some Epsom salts in and soak in that for a bit. So I've done that, and uh, now I'm going to get a video out to you guys. That's my next plan. Relax a bit, then probably work on some postcards that I had from yesterday that haven't finished up. So uh, that's the plan. There's always a couple errands, but I know I can't push myself too much. Uh, otherwise I'm in a lot of pain so I gotta pace myself and do things. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day so I do want to make sure that I'm prepared for that. Also not only is it Valentine's Day but it's my wife's birthday so we went out to a nice meal yesterday because uh, Valentine's Day sometimes is very pricey and uh, harder to get into places as well and where it was work night uh, on a Tuesday not as convenient too. Son still has basketball practice lots of factors going in there um, you guys know what it's like if you have families and things and uh, different responsibilities to take care of. You make time when you can. So last night we went out with uh, my wife's parents and had a nice meal. So that was good to celebrate. All right, today though, I want to talk about some postcards. So I received this envelope from Wendy here in Canada. Uh, she sent some most nice postcards. She also was out with her brother and got some other postcards. I'm going to start with those first. So these ones are kind of oversized postcards, but uh, who doesn't like a nice lighthouse? There's a lighthouse on the green in Fredericton, so down by the water, there's that one. We have this beautiful postcard of the falls in Grand Falls, New Brunswick. A little bit of a sunset or sunrise going on there as well. We have two of these ones. This is a lighthouse in Bathurst, all painted up uh, with the Acadian flag. So there's two of those that she found. And then, oops, they're stuck together, there we go. There's another sunset sunrise over the reversing falls in St. John. And finally, of those group ones, we have this one here. This is the mill in King's Landing, New Brunswick. So uh, very happy to have all these different uh, landmarks here in New Brunswick to show off. So when people are asking for a certain thing, whether it's a beautiful river, a waterfall, a lighthouse, a sunset, uh, they're going to fit a variety of different things that we can get out of those. So uh, thank you, Wendy and David, for those. And now we're going to get into this envelope. But she had taped up like this, and then uh, I've opened the top to get down into it. And she's got a letter in here, but she's got this package of postcards that are inside. I haven't opened them yet, so we're going to see them together. Which also means I don't know what I'm going to talk about yet, because I haven't seen them. All right, the first one, this is cute. These are, I think this is street art. Uh, Benny doesn't want you to think, okay, here we go. At first, I thought they were Winnie the Pooh cards. It says, Benny doesn't want you to think he was eavesdropping but he got the impression that you might need a balloon. So someone has gone and uh, created the street art to make it look a little 3D. But it reminds me of Winnie the Pooh. And we've got a little dog and he's got a bunch of, uh, you know, these are the things that fall off of trees. We call them helicopters. I'm not sure what you call them, but they're seed pods that fall off of a certain type of tree. So even though the uh, the drawing is of the dog on the ground, one of them has fallen on his nose, so it looks like it was painted on there. And this one here, of a rat sneaking out of a hole. So once again, these are all temporary street art. So this is a um, probably a concrete wall that's solid, and they've drawn on this to make it look like there's a hole and a rat coming out. Um, very impressive. And the street art is by David Zinn, Z-I-N-N, -N, or Z-I-N-N, -N, if you're from the U.S. Here we go. This is Gerald's Blind Date. 
can see the otter's got his flowers there waiting in the, the pool. This is cool because they've taken a tree stump to try to create the 3D artifact. It's interesting how they can do it and what they take. So thinking of you is what this is called. So do we think the flowers are there and exist and he's just created the animal underneath or has he created the flowers and drawn that on as well? It's hard to tell what's real and what's not real. But super impressive. This one here with the flying pig and the, the uh, frog or whatever that can read, reading to the goldfish. So the manhole, I would say, is real, and then they've just drawn everything underneath of it to make it look like that's the top of the jar. Some of these are self-explanatory, I'm sure. You're saying, yeah, we can see that too. There's the manhole cover. The same flying pig holding the flower. Well, like I said, I'm seeing these for the first time too, so going through it, trying to see how it is. This looks like it probably is someone's step maybe or maybe not maybe this is just a whole flat surface and not an incline here you guys have a favorite yet of which one uh, looks out this one definitely is just flowers growing out from the side and then they've created this tree and image below <laughs> this one's funny so you have this stone and the image of the, maybe the tired baby dragon. You can see that's what the stone should look like. <laughs> Being very creative with weeds that are growing in the crack of the sidewalk or the pavement. There's another cool corner shot they've removed what looked like the brick didn't actually remove it of course they've just drawn over the red part of the brick to create that image and they all have catchy little names on the back this one's called uh, leafy elation this octopus here or maybe it's going that way this says, Cora doesn't think much of her legs, but she has a great smile. I'm not sure where you found these, Wendy, but they're really cool. They're cute, as you said. Someone has been super creative, <laughs> like this one here. Let me out of prison. It's called a cat prisoner. This one here, Rabbit Ballet, requires focus and willpower because of the tutus are delicious. Another one here, Greg spent his birthday enjoying all of his favorite thing. Nadine and the Adventure of the Audiophile Wombat. I don't need to read all of the backs on these, but some of them I thought were appropriate. It's what all the fashionable turtles are wearing this year. This is a fertile back turtle, Laguna Beach, California. It was done in March 2019. artist certainly likes his flying pigs. It's called Flap Them If You Got Them. That was done in Ohio. So he's gone and done this art all over the U.S. by the looks of things. This one was in Michigan at the time. And the last one of the sets I have is this one here. It's called The Din Searches for the Horizon. Or Searches the Horizon. 
Once again, there's your weed, and that's everything they've created below. So how cool are those little packets? On the back, you kind of have the stamp of the series and the name and title with the artist. So unfortunately, if you put your stamp over it to mail it, you're gonna lose that portion, but everything else will be covered. Or it will be accessible for writing your image, uh, writing your story, putting some stickers on. Uh, yeah, it'll be fun to send these out find the right people for them to go to but a good little pack those and then these new Brunswick ones so I want to thank Wendy once again for sending those off um, hope you guys enjoy it I hope you're having a good post crossing start to your week and uh, I've got some more videos coming up this week too I've got some stamp videos coming and tomorrow is Valentine's Day so I'm going to probably have a, a video that's a little bit more related to Valentine's Day so hope you enjoy it and have a magical week like follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.